Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully completed the basic things like editing and adding a new note and deleting a new note using the pop up. If you click on the cancel, it will be working. And if you click on delete again, it will be working. So everything is working fine. Now it's time for us to add authentication and also the most importantly, we need to save these all the notes data in the database and we need to get these all the notes data from the database. So that is very much important. So right now this course is not uh, completely on the backend thing and all the things. So we will use our uh, Google Firebase. Let's open the Firebase. If you try to open the Firebase, so we will try to do this one in a different way. Firebase.google.com or anything Firebase uh, you can search in Google also. Firebase, if you try to search Firebase directly like this, the first one you'll be able to see firebase.google.com like this. So anything. So if you try to see, so this is the page which we'll try to open. Now we need to click on the get started. So this one will give you all the things like hosting. We'll do the hosting and all those things also hosting, database and all those things it will be given you. So there is no need to think about the scalability issues and all those things. So now let's click on the get started. So if you click on the get started, now here you'll be able to see the projects so here you'll be able to see the complete projects which we have did it for our projects for our playlist and all the things now i am creating a new project so here let's try to create a new project and this is our notes list right notes list hyphen view so whatever the name you want you can give it so this is our project name let's click on the continue and here we know don't need the enable and google analytics and all the things so we can remove it and let's create the project okay if you try to see here, we are having, we'll be having the pricing and all those things also. Right now, we will be doing this Firebase completely with a free thing. And if you go, so A-B testing, analytics, app distribution, app indexing, everything. Everything is free. Authentication, 10, 10 SMS sent per day, build per, so like this. So you'll be able to see these all things. So plan when you go for a priceable thing and if you go for a free thing. So right now, we'll be implementing the free thing only. And here what you can do it is so here if you try to see if you are having application larger application and larger traffic if you are getting means so you can go for the blaze plan. So fine. So right now we will be doing everything right. So now here the, our project is completely ready. And if you click on this uh, we need to click on this continue. Now I will be clicking on this continue. So when I click on this continue. So it, it you will be able to see this dashboard right. So now if you have seen this dashboard, now what I need to do is now we don't want to create for an Apple or iOS. So Android. So we are trying to do it for now we are able to see this desktop, right? So we are not developing for Apple or Android or anything. So Unity or Flutter. We are not we are developing for the web. So let's click on the web app. Now if you try to see here, so we are able to see our project, app nickname. So our app nickname is notes list. Let's create the notes list. Fine. Let's register our app. So I am registering our app. So like this, these steps. So you can follow these all the steps. And now here, if you try to see, so if you want to use the npm, we need to install npm install Firebase. Or if you want to use a script tag, you can use it like this. Right now, we will be using npm, right? So I can copy this one. So let's install this one. What is this one? npm install Firebase. Let's go and install it here. Yeah, I will be stopping this one and here I am installing the Firebase. The Firebase right now the currently running is the ninth version not eighth version. We will use the ninth version only. So let it install. It will take some time to install. Let it install. Yeah, now the Firebase has been successfully installed. Okay, let's go to our thing. And here after installing the Firebase, then what they are trying to tell. Then initialize the Firebase and begin using the SDKs for the products you would like to use it. So let's copy this entire code. I am trying to copy this entire code. Let's create a new file for this one and paste the entire code. Now when you install this Firebase in the package.json if you try to observe. So here the Firebase has been installed with a version of 9.23.0. Now here what we need to do. I am creating a new folder JS. Inside this JS I am creating a new file. Firebase.js. Okay. And here I am pasting this one. I am pasting this entire code, whatever the code they have given, I am pasting this entire code. That's it. Now let's go to the console. Let's, I am going to the console. And here, if you try to see, we are having one app, right? One app, we are having notes list app. And let's go to the build. And here we are, we need the Firestore database, not the real-time database. 
previously all we have used the real time database this time i am using the firestore database so this is like a mongodb structure like a thing collections and a documents like that it will be having so if you don't know about the mongodb we have already covered the mongodb course in our uh, channel so you can go and visit that one so here i will be creating a database so i am creating a new database this time what we need to do we need to start it in the test mode why because so we need so that everyone can able to access our database so this will be what next 30 days you will be having a condition the rules and regulations will be set for that one in the production mode means so you will be having an auth and all those things so let's go to the next and here this is the cloud location where it will be uh, saving so there is no so i am keeping i am taking the default one like that only so if you want to change anything you can change it but i am not keeping the default one like this only enable so now it is creating the database let it create the database so setting up the security rules and all those things it is setting up let it create and now it has been created if you try to see here we are having the database cloud store cloud fire store now here if you go into this one here we will be having a collection so right now the, our first collection is the notes so this is our table like in think that one is a table in our uh, mysql or uh, relational database and i am and clicking on the next so here you will be having an auto id so right now we are having an id right uh, if you try to see our uh, fire store notes store notes store yeah here we are having list of two notes so we'll try to add these two notes in our database so that we can get these all the details instead of writing hard coding you will get it from the database now if you try to see here id1 and id2 first note and second note okay let's go here and this one id we will be having id1 and this one is content okay the key name and here you will be having first note so this is our first content and click on save first document has been saved here notes is this is a collection and this is the first document okay and if you want to add another document you can go here and you can add id2 and this is also the content and here you will be having the second note and if you click on the save so second note is also created so this is how we will be creating so now fine so up to here we have created some basic database so we need to get these all the notes through from the code now if you go here you will be having a docs let's click on the docs let's go to the docs so we, we also don't know how to access these all things right let's go to the build and if you try to see here you will be having a fire store let's click on the fire store and here you will be having all the details if you go to the get started so let's click on the get started and here you will be having the these are all the things we have already created so test mode and these are all the things we have taken now here we are using the web modular api not the web, web namespace api and here we have we have installed this one and we have uh, used this one also import both this firebase and the cloud firestore so let's copy this firestore and we will paste it there now here if you go into this one so here they are asking us so let's try to paste it yeah fine and the next one so the firestore is nothing but the firestore database which we are trying to access it now if you go here at the bottom and here you will be able to see the all code so firebase configuration is there so and and here this is the db so the db we need to get it here and if you go into this one so let's have the db and here you can export the db okay so we have exported the db fine now if you see go here that's it so now we have created now if you want to get the data add the data and all those things so we'll try to see it first of all what we need to do we need to get all the nodes from the database and we need to show it so let's try to do it from the uh, from the uh, in the next video so we have created our db and in the next video you will see whether we can able to access the db or not we are able to get it and those all things you'll get to see in the next video hope you understood about this firestore firebase uh, app creation and the firestore access and all those things if you have any doubts or any suggestions and these are all the code so as it is so i will be committing these all the branch in the video hyphen 93 so this one is 94 and here you will be able to access so you create your own firebase thing so this will be available only for the one month only 30 days after 30 days it will be not available so you create your own firebase and copy these all the things what are the steps i have repeated the same steps you can follow and you can paste this code so don't follow this one why because the ours is a free plan right so it will not work so here firebase store creation fine done let's commit this code and i will publish this branch 
whoever may be having the doubts and all those things as i already told you right we have our uh, this project notes list project as github repo here so everyone who is interested so they can go here and they can refer to this code so that's it guys so this is about the firebase creation so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you